Hey, happy Friday Eve, everybody. It is Thursday. It's 5.06 p.m. And like I told you guys before, I think via email, maybe in some meetings, um, I've been working with the district on positive attendance and we've been given the green light. We can remove the system or the practice of the system. The system will still be here and I'll explain um, why. So beginning on Monday, November 29th, Auburn High School will no longer have our students scan themselves in for daily attendance in your classroom. So you can start letting them know that tomorrow. Um, and then, you know, next week's going to be a little bit of a different week, only three days. You'll see your kids only twice. You'll see all of them on Wednesday. You don't know how many will show up, but you're only going to have periods one, two, and three on Monday and four, five, and six on, on Tuesday. So kind of get them ready for that because the following week, we're not using it. Um, attendance will be taken manually through Skyward by our teachers. And later on, when we migrate to cumulative, um, that'll be the place where it happens. Just know that the system default for attendance in the system will go back to present, not absent, as it was with positive attendance, and we will remain as present until a teacher changes the status to absent or tardy. Teachers are required to take daily attendance for each of their classes during the first 10 minutes of each class. Please consider this as a school type. The worry from the district level and, you know, it's a worry of everybody is sometimes people forget to take attendance. The one thing positive attendance afforded us is the kids were going to take attendance. Now we know that wasn't with full fidelity, of course, which is kind of why we're here. But uh, just want to make sure that you, that's noted. It's got to be done every day, make it a routine, and we will be fine. I don't know why that keeps clicking in there. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dark that out, move up to the next part. And let's go here. So, no, that's not what I wanted either. Hold on, guys. Bear with me. Um, okay. Uh, recommended routines. Uh, greet students at the door during passing time. When the tardy bell rings, walk in, lead, facilitate good things for two to three minutes. Provide your students a warm-up or entry task activity while you take attendance. And then lessons should start off with learning targets and success criteria and then the artistry of your instruction. Um, something else, I worked with Beth Scheip on this. I think we're going to be able to tighten this system up too for the better. When I say tighten up, I mean more student engagement, tightening up around the school. Substitute teachers will continue to utilize a hard copy of their class roster and must be equipped with a seating chart with student photos for each class. So if you're a teacher that doesn't quite know how to do that, please reach out to a colleague between now and 1129 uh, or ask one of your administrators. I, I probably can't be of any help because I haven't done that in the system for a long time. Brendan might be able to help you. Jeanette, if she were here, I'm definitely, she'd be able to help you. Lori, Jeff, and Stacy, I'm not sure, but I know a colleague would definitely help you out in a pinch. Um, within the daily substitute plan, substitutes will be directed to email Beth Scheip in attendance and CC the classroom teacher, you, who aren't there that day because of whatever reason, about any student absences. So you should be getting as a teacher, five of those plus your Troy time, you'll get five of those emails, separate emails, each period that you teach. These are the two kids that were gone. These are the four students that were gone. These were the no kids that were gone. And only in the case of a substitute teacher not having an Auburn School District Outlook email account will a substitute teacher be required to have a student walk the roster down to attendance after taking attendance. We're really trying to clean up the hallways and the kids have always been really good about walking down, coming back for the most part, but they're not there learning along with their classmates. So we're going to tighten that up a little bit. So let me know if you have any questions about that. And Beth says she's ready to receive the emails. Um, next thing is tardy to class. Just as we're practicing now, today I had about three or four kids, one period, start head down to the attendance office, said their teacher sent them. I don't think they ever made it to their teachers. But I told them to head to class and I followed them and I saw them head into classrooms. But anyway, just as we're practicing now, no student is set to be sent is, is to be sent to the attendance office because they're tardy to any class other than their first class of the day. And that's if they arrive late to school. The only exceptions for students, any student arriving to Auburn High School after the start of first period. So you could check your attendance. If I walk into your class late or second period and you notice I wasn't there first period, send me down to the attendance office. Students will receive a small green pass or ticket and will then head straight to class. Please take the green ticket from them. They don't need that. Just collect them, save them in a spot. 
All right, enough of that. Now I'm going to talk a little bit about Troy time because we found out we got some glitches going on with Troy time that we could fix really fast. Okay, so student, students need to attend their originally scheduled home Troy time or to their scheduled intervention Troy time as indicated in Skyward and later cumulative. Okay, it's going to say it right on their schedules, period eight. It's either going to be with you, the home Troy teacher, or it could be with their math, language arts, science, social studies teachers. Here's the part I really need you to lock on to. Please do not write passes for students to go see teachers who have not been invited by that same receiving teacher. And that's a day by day thing. Just because a teacher said, I'm good working with Jeff on a Tuesday, do not assume that Jeff um, should be going there on a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. We need to have explicit direction from the receiving teacher. The situation has actually created problems in our school during Troy time. I kind of got to the bottom of it today. And frankly, I am tired. So you're tired too. So let's just tell the kids, no, it's okay. At this time, there's no formal choice or enrichment locations. Okay, we're not doing core choice. We're not Auburn Mountain View. They're not doing core choice anymore either. And uh, we do have two clubs working during Troy time right now. And one of them is organized by Anna Marshall. And I think they're doing things on a Google Classroom, although they may meet down in the Career Center once in a while. But she will send you the names if she hasn't already. She'll say these are the kids that can be given passes to come down to the Career Center. And then also our Black Student Union, um, they are working on the Martin Luther King Assembly. They, they go to the library um, every Wednesday. They've been doing that for two weeks now. Miss Tremaine, um, she's not going to be in for a little while and she is their fearless leader. So I'm not quite sure who's going to take the reins on that. Maybe Molly will help out. But anyway, we will have a list together. We'll send that out to you by Monday the 29th. They don't meet again until December 1st. So we should be fine with that. But those will be the only kids that can go somewhere outside of a teacher saying, yes, I really want Jeff down in my room during Troy time. Okay. So just tell your kids no. Okay. And uh, I told some of the teachers that have been kind of harboring some of those kids, tomorrow there might be a little bit of leakage, but you tell the kids, enjoy this today with me because this is the last time you're going to be able to come down and enjoy space with me. I'm not even your teacher. So anyway, I think enough said. We covered all that. Um, and I'm excited. I had a great conversation with a parent today who is a big IT guy. Um, he's got high clearance security with the government. He was telling me about all of his credentials and he was telling me the 38 different ways kids could work around our scanning system. And I listened to him and I listened to him and I looked him dead in the eye, I said, well, our staff came together and we decided we're getting rid of the scanning system. And he goes, good. Um, so I thought that was pretty cool. Um, not that we're getting rid of the scanning system, but that we're going back to something that's old school. The kids can't find all the workarounds and you know, relationships will prevail. All right, have a good evening, everybody. Tomorrow will be a great day. Next week will be a little bit different. And then we will start in earnest on the 1129. Take care.